In this episode, I'll be taking you through the results of another research study that I've recently conducted on the effectiveness of the optimization technique known as walk-forward analysis. In this study, I firstly look at a comparison of the effectiveness of walk-forward analysis compared with the standard optimization technique. And secondly, measure the effect of changing the number of stages used in the walk-forward analysis process. If you either use already or are considering using walk-forward analysis, this is a must-watch episode. Let's take a closer look at what this research study set out to investigate regarding the walk-forward analysis optimization technique. The first step of the research was to perform a standard single-stage optimization and walk-forward process. And the purpose of this was to get some baseline results. Following this, a number of walk-forward analysis optimizations were undertaken each of them with a different number of stages. So the first one, like the one you see in the diagram here with four stages was the first. I also conducted walk forward analyses for eight stages, 12, 20, and 30. However, regardless of the number of stages, the optimizations were always undertaken over an identical duration of 10 years. And then the effectiveness of all of these was compared by looking at the out of sample walk forward results. And for this first phase of the research, a single trading system was used to obtain the results. However, in the future, I do plan to rerun this with many other trading systems also. Now, all of the concepts and techniques that I used in this research are things I've covered before in other episodes. And so this is going to be an extremely quick recap of the various different techniques. So the standard optimization process looks something like this with an optimization phase, which uses in sample data and a walk forward phase that uses out of sample data. The purpose of the optimization phase is to identify the most robust parameter values, and it's these values that then of course get passed through into the walk forward validation phase. And the purpose of this is to validate those chosen parameters on historical data that they've not seen before. And now in terms of the walk forward analysis approach, here the optimization is split up into a number of stages. So for stage one, a much smaller optimization is undertaken. And again, the best values from this are passed forward into the first walk forward stage. And then for the second stage, the optimization window is pushed forward. And because this is over a different period of time, it may well produce different parameter values, which get passed forward into another walk forward validation phase. And this of course is the whole point of walk forward analysis that it produces the parameter values that are working best at that particular time based on what the market conditions are right then. And this then continues with the additional stages until the optimization is complete. Now, if on investigation of the cumulative walk forward results, they meet your expectations, you can then run a final optimization, which I call a pre-live optimization. And it's this that you pass the parameters forward into live trading. So let's now look at what the research set out to accomplish. And the first consideration was measuring how adaptable the walk forward analysis process is to changing market conditions. And the first point to make is that walk forward analysis is generally much better at doing this than when you take a standard optimization approach. But also, the ability to adapt to changing market conditions increases as the number of stages increases. And this is because each optimization phase is now much smaller. And when they're smaller, this means they're able to adapt to whatever the market is doing at that time. 
And so generally speaking, this will lead to better results in the walk forward phase. But the second consideration is that of the statistical significance of each of the in-sample optimizations. And here the opposite applies. As the number of stages increases, this has the effect of decreasing the statistical significance. And so in turn, this has the effect of reducing the predictive power of each of the optimization stages. So this is where we have the dilemma. For low numbers of stages, the in-sample statistical significance is high, meaning we've got good predictive power. However, we can't be very adaptable to market conditions as they change, which of course is a disadvantage. But when we have a higher number of stages, the opposite applies. Here, the in-sample statistical significance is much lower, meaning the predictive power is lower, but the adaptability to market conditions is much better. And so one of the primary purposes of this research was to identify what the optimal balance is between the two. And knowing this, and seeing how the results behave as we change the number of stages, will allow us to make much more informed decisions about how we design our walk forward analysis. Now there is one further consideration I want to look at, which is that of the out of sample statistical significance. And this gets calculated in a different way. Here, we're interested in the cumulative walk forward phases altogether. And so when using walk forward analysis, this is usually not an issue because that cumulative duration is usually far longer than you would get when using a standard optimization. So although it's an important concept to understand, it's not something that causes us any issues when we undertake a walk forward analysis. So in summary, the purpose of the research study was to gain an insight into how this balance can be achieved. The balance between adaptability and in-sample statistical significance. Secondly, it was to observe the effect on the results as we change the walk forward analysis model. And specifically, I'm talking about changing the number of stages that we're using. So hopefully that provides you with a good overview of what the research is setting out to achieve. Next, we're going to get straight into the results. So click top right now to go to the next part.